All right, YouTube, we're going to play some more Shatter today. I'm enjoying this while traffic goes too much. Oh, that's so shitty. I live in Washington, D.C., so I know all about the traffic, but, like, that's just absolutely awful. So, anyways, this is the same list that I played the open. I cut a Snapcaster Mage. I added a Lightning Bolt. I cut the Kira. And one other card. Can't exactly remember off the top of my head. And I just added a Snapcaster to the sideboard. And then I added a Radiant Flames. I cut a Colagon's Command. So, kind of just wanted to cut some of the grindy aspects. Play a little more removal in a quicker game. Because I think the Humans deck's pretty good. So, had a chance to 5 this league, but my internet crapped out and had to restart my computer, which sucked. So, yeah, the big thing that I've noticed is that, like, I think the Militia Bugler is, like, the truth, and I just want a fifth one-mana removal spell in my main deck right now. Um, Snapcaster Mage is, like, kind of clunky. And it's kind of like oftentimes one of the worst cards in your deck is just slow. And I'm not really looking to play slow games. It's just easier to cast Circle Turk. Like there's, you know, it's easier to cast. It's easier on the mana base. That's pretty much the only reason why. And Watery Grave is just the best, the best land in the deck. So I tried to actually cut a Blood Crypt for Watery Grave today. Let's see how that goes. Oh, uh, this hand's great. I think Humans is great. I think Militia Bugler is going to put a shot right into right into that deck. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we don't have to necessarily fetch. We can fetch a Blood Crypt with that Blood Saint Meyer. I should have done that now, though. Okay. This is just taking Amulet of Vigor. It's the best card in their deck. That Bajoku Bog could be a beating. But I bet they'll probably play the forest in order to get this tribe scout going. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, second angler, not a good draw. So let's go get our blood crypt. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to hold this Angler, or this Street Wraith, as something to rebuild our graveyard with next turn. So we drew that second Angler. Because like if we draw a, like a Faithless Looting or a Thought Scour, we can go do that and play Angler next turn as well. Yeah. Serum Vision is just so good. Serum Vision is the best cantrip. By far. All right, this is a pretty solid setup for my opponent. Yeah, there's the Azusa. So I know two out of three cards they have left. Nice thing is the Bog doesn't do anything right now. Gruel Turf, okay. So Gruel Turf, they bounce Forest, or they bounce Gemstone. So they got these three cards and Gemstone Liner. Uh, thank you, Alex. Yeah, I'm glad to uh, be doing it. It's nice. Work was pretty. Work was pretty slack towards the end of the week. So they have a forest. They have three. These three cards. They have gemstone mine, forest, the Joker bog. So now we just gotta like end this game quickly. So that's gonna miss. But one, two. So let's cycle this. Snapcaster mage. So this is why we boarded out. We cut a snapcaster mage. Honestly, I'll likely just be flashing this Snapcaster in <clears throat> because it's not going to do anything once they set up the Bajoku Bog set up here, and I just need to get a beater on. Ah, uh, humans got a, humans uh, waned in popularity, I think, but it looks like the Bugler is going to like change that, so you're going to have to adjust the deck accordingly. That's why I added another Lightning Bolt. To the main deck, so they have Bog and one unknown. Don't tighten me. I'm 
I'm actually just going to flash this in and trade. Because if my opponent does land a Titan, this is going to let them uh, like set up post-Titan. They bounce lands, they play more lands. It's just not really going to do very much else. They just jam a Titan here. That's going to suck. Looks like they're going to jam a Titan 2, 4, 5, 6. This is where we likely lose. Because once the first Titan... Oh, Ballista for 3. Okay. Okay, so... I'm going to get Steam Vents. 2, 4. So if I had Inquisition last turn, I could have cast Angler. Yeah, now we're in trouble. Now I can't even attack. Because I'm just dead on the board if that happens. I am just going to cast this to fill my graveyard up, though. Like, we know it's going to miss. Yeah, because it's just the bog. But I've got to fill my graveyard in order to be able to cast the Angler next turn. I have not tried that. I, I, I used to play a Tomb Stalker when I played uh, Gun Shadow. It was kind of a cool little traverse target. It ended up being a little overrated. So Gemstone Mines, what they drew. I cannot believe they're not bogging. I guess he can just bog me anyways with the scout. So put two counters on and put two more counters on. So we are we are in quite a bit of trouble if we don't find a removal spell for this ballista like this turn. And it's got to be pushed because they can just bolt it. And then he puts it even in response to putting a counter on. They just bolt it and they do put another counter on. Yeah, see, this is a good play. Upkeep. Hopefully they just shoot my Gurmag Angler. That would be sweet. Just trade with the Angler. Come on. All right. Outs are dwindling. This is going to be like Fatal Push. No, yeah, we're dead. Yeah, a big old Ballista got us. So against this deck, it's a bit of a difficult deck to sideboard against. Because like I want my Stubborn Denial. I want my Disdainful Stroke. Uh, Radiant Flames and Engineer Explosives are kind of are kind of like medium, but they both like they all have their uses. Um, I like a braid. I guess it's easier to go with cards we don't like. I don't like Snapcaster Mage. And I don't like Fatal Push on the play. I kind of like all the rest of the cards in my deck, though. Dismember's Explosive, and they bring in um, whatever it is out of their sideboard. Obstinate and Bayloth sometimes, so like having an answer, that's good. A Braid leaves us enough removal spell and enough removal spells to clear out like the little tribe scouts. So I think we're going to do this. Might sideboard in a little bit more removal on the draw because I don't want to just get like wrecked by a turn one tribe scout. Tribe scout's a very annoying card to lose from, to lose to in this deck. And it happens sometimes, but it definitely gives a little tension when it comes to um, the deck building. I might cut a Gurmag Angler also. To make room for that, because if they start, if they like my opponent messed up by not doing bog locks on me, or if they just start bogging me out of the game, it's tough to beat. So we can keep this hand because we have Faithless Looting, and Faithless Looting will hopefully dig us to what we're looking for on the next turn. But like we can bobble ourselves, card selection. Like we get to see, like before the end of next turn, we get to see two, four, five new cards, six new cards to look for a threat. So. Street Wraith is fine. Street Wraith enables, it's just another random draw, and it enables both Delve and um, Discard Spells. Let's move Hang on one second. So they have double Amulet, which is not good. So I'm just going to take this Relic. Uh, I was thinking about. Well, the problem with Delve cards, you put too many Delve cards in your deck, you get, like, Reflector Mage out of the game. 
Yeah, we're good. So fourth. Double amulet is a little unfortunate for the home team there. So let's cycle these. Okay, so we are going to be able to play Gurmag Angler this turn. One, two, three, four. And I might as well looting. Oh, those are all pretty good cards. I kind of wish I had another blue source. Like it just wasn't a red source, but I would rather have a black source. Angler on two is a good way to start here. Yeah, I mean, that's debatable. Like, two snap. I, I think that, like, Snapcaster is your best card in some matchups, and a lot of matchups, it's, it's pretty dead. Just too slow. So there's Gemstone Mine. They explore. They can play like Bog, untap it, play Amulet. Then they've got double double Amulet in play. Have the three cards and we get to stub them. Another land would actually not be that bad because with another land, um, I could hold up Disdainful Stroke or Thought or Stubborn Denial for the rest of the game. Yeah, that's what we thought they would do. All right, that's pretty good. So let's. They can't transmute this. So they find a land to untap. So they can't like do anything to me next turn. So I think I'm just gonna take this spell pierce. There's a chance that the Azusa like um shaves a a turn off of our clock. Playing against Amulet is tough. It's just like a deck that attacks on a weird axis. Like it's just not, it's not like a normal deck. It's not like playing X's and O's and things like that. So it's a bit, it's just a bit odd. All right, you got your Azusa. And they choose not to play a land, okay. That's a pretty sweet draw. So again, we just attack. They don't block. I think the only way we lose is to like Cavern Titan. So this is five mana. So if they have a Thrag Test, we still have that covered. And they lose their Gemstone Mine, which is pretty solid for the home team. She works out against just control. Yeah, I think. Right around 50%. 50% or higher. I just don't think that deck's very good. The way that I built this deck after is is much is a little worse. Like cutting Snapcaster Mage is one of your better cards in that matchup. Okay, so I have another Teleria West. So they're gonna sort of like generate a bunch of blue mana, and then they're gonna play a bounce land and pick this up. No, sir. I think it just kills us if we get too cute. So, I did lose to Rossum in, at uh, Philadelphia, though. He did get me. He ripped, uh, he ripped a Supreme Verdict to, to win him the game, basically. Or, or to, all right, so we got him. He ripped a Supreme Verdict to win in the game, and which sucked. And I think I didn't. I think I played poorly in match in game two of the match that cost us there. He, I remember he ripped like because we both mulligan to six, and I remember like I just discarded his hand, and then we're just gonna send. Well, we're gonna cut one of these and bring in one more of these. I don't want to be naked to. Because like we we can build our deck to not lose to Tribe Scout. 
Um, yeah, he ripped like a search for his canter that was really good, and then he like ripped the whatever it was was also very good. Um, can't think. Um, the verdict. I think I'm going to mulligan. I don't have any way to get... Like, th this could be anything. Like, I don't have a good way to get my Death Shadow online. My turn one plays pretty mopey. Yeah, I guess this hand's not much better, but it is better. We do get to see a bunch of cards with this hand, so... Okay, Ancient Stirring is the best one drop for them to lead off for us. If they find an amulet, we're going to leave up Stubborn Denial because a, a pretty common play pattern is like Gruel Turf, okay. So we're going to Serum Visions on this turn to set up our draw. That could be, it could cost me if I want to top top actually. Um, but I'm likely going to now fetch like a blood crypt and looting and hopefully hit like something into shadow. It's an explorer. Okay, you got it. Explore's a good draw. So now they gruel turf. That's their forest. So they have a forest. Get our red source. Right. The shadow? Nope. Okay, so just they just have double packed and not much else. Okay. So this is beatable. They could just pack right now for a whatever it is, like an Azusa, and then just kind of like set themselves up. But that seems kind of loose without a way to find another Titan. On my main phase, I'm probably just going to flashback face this looting if I don't hit anything relevant. We're not really in a position to play slowly. Oh, they are just going to. Okay. Okay, yeah, we can just F6 here. So they're just doing this as a setup. This is a little... I think my list is better against... Any list that would like to, that you want to, uh, what do they do? They bounce the so they have two forests in their hand that you want to interact with. Uh, Benz is better against non-interactive decks. So they have a forest, a forest, and one unknown. All right, let's just flash our looting back. So I want this and this for next turn. So my best bets are probably just to dump these two and then pass. They pay for, so they're basically, they're basically just time walking themselves. I actually just think that my deck is like much, much better than, than Ben's deck. Like Ben's deck's a very poor Snapcaster Mage deck. Um, it's a pretty, like it doesn't find it's more like it doesn't find resources as well um, because, like, Thought Scour is a much worse random draw than Serum Visions is. Okay, so that's pretty that's pretty great. Let's do this. Um, 
bottom. Put on the bottom. Put on top. I have a feeling they have a Titan in hand, yeah. Ooh, they have a Teleria West that they cannot transmute for. So let's just hope that they don't hit that. If they don't transmute for this, like if they don't hit the Pact on this turn, we should be in good shape. But if they hit Blue Land, one, two... Blue land, they still can't cast. Oh, they still they totally can cast Kite Titan because of this Azusa. Okay, Amulet doesn't do anything. We should be good now. We're gonna bolt this, and then we're just gonna start crashing in there. Yeah, that's pretty great as well. So they're just gonna block with their plant token, but like such is life. And we're gonna have to deal with that at some point. Let's just get this out of here. I'm not going to be bolting myself, and the bolt's not going to get much better than that at this point. So we're pretty we're pretty screwed to natural Titan. Or like Hornet Queen, but 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. They already had Hornet Queen. Okay, so they drew another Teleria West. Okay, so now we just stub the Pact. And then we crack in there. So they have Forest, and now they're going to have Pact. They can't even Pact on this turn. Unless they, they actually probably will pack because they can just pack for Ballista and that's lethal over like, because they pack, they pay, it's one, two, three, four, it's two. So no matter what, whatever they do here, we have it covered. Unless they pack for something, they could pack for a bounce land and start like colony guarding, but that seems pretty low impact. I had the old Streamlab alert. Uh, Zaw13, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Oh, they just get the Ballista. Oh, gross. I forgot they couldn't just pack for, they could just like pack for the Ballista. They don't have to go get um, Summoner's Pact. So now four. And that bolt looks a little hasty. Two. So now we just got to pass because we can't attack because they just put counters on. Now we got to find like a removal spell next turn or we are dead. Kira was like straight average. So they played their forest. So we got like one draw step here. What are we looking at? We've got two bolts and a di two, di two dismembers. Yeah, you got it. You got it, sir. Better lucky than good. Now we just gotta hope they fade one. Uh, we fade one more draw step from them. Pact of negation. Oh, that was a good one. I guess one good draw step deserves one more from our opponent. And we can't stub that because even if we stub it, we go down to three, and then we just die to the blister. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one from our opponent. Yes, yikes for sure. That one was a kick right in the shorts. Rough way to start the stream. I'm gonna grab another thing. I'm gonna grab another glass of water. Blue Down the Veil is just very poor against um, humans and Hollow One. So that's why it doesn't see play. And, like, it's supposed to be good against mid range decks, but the premier mid range deck plays like Living Souls.
<clears throat> so she's just not very. It's part the part of the reason Liliana's bad is like part of the reason probably Jun's bad. Because like Jun's your best card. Uh, Liliana's your best card in Jun, besides I guess Bloodbird Elf. Alright, I would like to play first. See if we can rattle off four in a row. This hand is pretty good. So this is just gonna be Fetch Shock Dotsies. We're not gonna cycle this yet. I'm a big fan of holding my street rates, and that's why you should play Serum Visions, because Serum Visions with Street Wraith is very, very good. There's like when people talk about like the cantrip argument in Death Shadow, like Oh, we're Moto's tweaking out here a little bit. When people talk about like the cantrip argument in Death Shadow, like it is totally fine to like argue over bobbles, um, bobbles, thought scours. Okay, here we go. So this is this is the big matchup. So we don't really care about the freebooter. The problem is we are going to care about it. I think we're just gonna get rid of this mantis rider. Mantis rider looks to deal the most damage to us. This is a pretty awful game one. I think we are ahead in games two and three. Oh, they rip up. God, that was a good one. Okay, that's also pretty great. So let's. So I could just thought seize this meddling mage. So one, one, two. I kind of want to just thought seize the meddling mage. Well, I could hit another one drop play here. Okay, so yeah, we did. So we're just going to take Meddling Mage Thalion's Lieutenant. Because this Freebooter is just going to take a Stubborn Denial, and that doesn't really matter. He's going to beat in the air for two. But I think we can outrace that. If we're not, then that's pretty sad. God, my opponent's hitting some pretty good ones. <clears throat> okay. Take my stub. You got it. I like to hit like a lightning bolt. Can a man just get a lightning bolt? Nope. I should have left the Inquisition. Is there a Reflector Mage? Meddling Mage, okay. That was a Reflector Mage, I was going to puke. I named Death Shadow. This is unfortunate. I should have left that in my hand to loot away. But I am going to want a second red source, because if I go like looting into Lightning Bolt, I'm going to want to cast it. Do you just like miss for a turn, bud? No, you can't do that. There's no missing in this dojo. You just crack me. Yep, you got it. All right, let's get this steam vents tapped. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead. That was unfortunate. A tough little beating there. Hopefully we get rid of that stuff in game. That shit draw in our before sideboarding. Okay, so against this deck after board, I like to cut stubs. I like to cut like three anglers and some number of street wraiths. Um, bringing in the EEs. This Radiant Flames, this Abrades, Snapcaster Mage, Lava Man, two more cards. I like Last Hope better than um, Colagon's Command in this matchup because it's just like incremental and it can couple with like Grim Lava Mancer to get rid of a uh, Mance Rider. I sometimes I board out of land. I do sometimes board out of the island. I don't know if I would do it on the reg. Let's see what this looks like. I could I could just cut this angler all in general, like in general, and then just play another Colgon's command. I 
But I do just want at least one more big guy, especially to play with Battle Rage. If you want to cut all four, I, w I would not blame somebody for doing that. I'm going to play this tonight, and then I don't know what else I'm going to play. I might play some Legacy, might play some Standard, might play some more Modern. I'm not sure. I am not sure. The Bugler certainly makes this matchup much more difficult, because it's just like a grindy card that's tougher to deal with. To deal with. Opponent's taking a while to sign. Gonna, oh, I haven't submitted yet. I thought my opponent hadn't submitted. I haven't submitted. Here I was just blaming my opponent for this time. It's like, God, they're slow. When in all reality, I am the slow one. What is going on here? Moto just is losing its mind. All right, we're going to keep this hand. This hand is good, not great. Like the E, we're going to hope this EE does quite a bit for us. Radiant Flames is pretty good. We're going to keep this Thought Seize. Because it's going to be nice to Thought Seize like a Bugler or something like that here, or a Thalia. And hopefully we can just clean up the board with this Flames. So what are they going to do? They're going to go Hierarch. So Champion's pretty annoying. But we could just take this Reflector Mage and try to set up like an EE on two. Get both of these off the battlefield. The problem is they're not going to play both of them next turn. I kind of just want to take the Thalia so that I can just play Magic normally and not be, like, disrupted. But the Reflector Mage is also kind of a beating. If I don't take this Oriok Champion, that basically means this means it's going to EE for two no matter what. Because it's just the only good way that I had to deal with this thing. That's okay. The Thalia is kind of annoying. And they might draw something to go like champion into this. I guess it would have to be like exactly a one drop. Thalia is just so annoying, and the Oriok champion doesn't really do a lot right now. And we can deal with it. Yeah, that makes sense. There's the champion. I could also just like abrade this, um, abrade this ether vial to give me some more time. That's a pretty good draw. Hey, nameless, how you doing? Okay, so let's take a look. Violin and a Snapcaster Mage. 
So if I just EE for one, that seems pretty mopey. Yeah, we're just gonna take this Reflector Mage. Go get Blood Crypt. Play EE for two. And figure it out. Yeah, Orioch's kind of annoying. I mean, I did. I could have thought seized it last turn, but I thought seized the Thalia. This goes up to two. Why would you move to two? I guess that means you want to get it to three. There's the Noble. So we're going to take three. They play their Canopy. Now I think I just play this, blow this up. We can lightning bolt something if we determine like they play something scary, or we can just clean the board up with radiant flames. Canopy's a little scary. So they hit a two drop. Which one is it? God, that's gross. I actually think now I'm going to destroy this because after I Radiant Flames next turn, um, it might limit them to like one spell a turn and slow down their mana, especially if they just crack Canopy, which, yeah, they're going to do that. Champion Rip was pretty gross. Okay, so we take three. Pass. At least now, the looting's not bad. Looting's going to take us to what we need. And this Oriac Champion's not that big of a clock. They're probably saying like a Restoration Angel. Okay, that's pretty good. The problem is, if I if I play this looting, I'm likely going to discard my bolt. But like, bolt's not going to win us the game. I think I think they've got like Reflector Mage in their hand. Reflector Mage, Restoration Angel. They would have played Militia Bugler. They would have played all their other cards. So I think this bolt isn't going to win me the game. I think I've got to like search for a discard spell or two shadows. As bad as that feels, ditching two removal spells. Because like, I'd be willing to bet we're about to get Reflective Ranged here. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense, B Temple. I was just trying to think of cards that like it would make sense for them to have. So they either have like Stone Nothing, in which I can beat that, or they have like Reflector Mage or Resto. So here's the Reflector Mage. That was a tough draw. Yeah, they got it. Lock take three. Yeah, that was unfortunate. <clears throat> Getting beat up today. At least in this league. We four, I 4 won two leagues earlier today. So we are going to drop and then start back up. We're a little unfortunate in this matchup. This one we just got run over, which, like, that happens from time to time. You play against humans enough, they're going to run you over in two games eventually. The first game was unlucky. The second game, humans kind of did what humans does. It's 
and maybe I showed Mulligan my first hand. It's a it's tough to beat humans unless you can set up Death Shadow Battle Rage or like have Grim Lava Mancer. Yeah, we'll keep this. We got a cantrip, a removal spell, and a bunch of discard spells. Like humans is a very good deck, and it's very good against Death Shadow. Let's take mine. Okay. He's probably playing against Mardu, I would guess. I would guess that's what we're doing here. I appreciate all the follows today. I'm almost to a thousand. Oh, they were a PT champ? Yeah, that makes it harder as well. They probably should just take my visions or my just yeah. Yeah, I only need 28 more to hit the magic number. So we're not playing around Blood Moon. Just playing around Blood Moon is for cowards. Yo, this theme event's gonna fuck me up. Oh, I'm playing against Hollow One. No, we're playing against like a Grixis awful control deck. All right. Don't hit a fetch land. Don't hit a fetch land. All right, battle rage suboptimal draw. Oh, Nikki. So I guess we just take Nikki. Um. Shock thirteen nine yeah. Dismember this Tassiger. I didn't find a threat. If we find a threat, we're in decent shape here. If we don't, we're not. But that's magic. Serum visions. Such a good card. Search. Okay. That's a tough card to beat. So I'd probably just take this lightning bolt. I could take the tasker, but at least my dismember trades with the tasker. But they're just gonna like flip this now. I probably should have thought about that because now I let them flip this for free. That was that was likely stupid. And taking Lightning Bolt is like so low impact, but I just wanted to like get rid of a card in order to set my dismember up to trade. Because if I take that Tasker, then none of my dismembers do anything. They kept a card. They probably kept a Nikki B, if I had to guess. So put that on the bottom, put this on top. Or they probably kept like a Colagon's Command, if I had to guess. So like make me discard, return Nikki B. We discard probably Battle Rage. Battle Rage takes a turn off clock. So probably just discard dismember. Yes, here's the K command. Yeah, I think I'm gonna discard dismember. They return Nikki. We'll get rid of Nikki. You know they can't cast Nikki, but we kind of get wrecked if they do, because we're gonna ditch like we're likely gonna need both Dismember and Battle Rage to win this game. Oh, Tom Barry, you're great. You are great. What does the chat think of my sweet computer glasses? Ditch an island. Now we're just like, oh, they didn't do it. God, they're going to cryptic. So they ditched their cards. So this has to be like a random draw. So we're going to like hope that their random draw was not a cryptic command. And if it is, I'm going to throw up.
But he might just be waiting to activate his Kanta also. Oh, nice. I'm going to bluff his stub. F6 through our turn and bluff stub at the same time. The old lazy moto player. We pretty much lose to like Cryptic Command at any point in this game. But you know, such is life. Such is life. Okay, command. Hopefully they do that in our draw step and the card we draw is really bad. Their mana's kind of awkward. God, dude, what a tool. Okay, we're gonna just battle rage. Stub there would have been sweet. My opponent's got Nikki B. Okay, so they're gonna turn off all yields. So they're gonna play Tassiger. Okay, so I'm not gonna play Tasker into this dismember, which is nice. Oh. <coughs> so I probably have to dismember this paying the life because if I draw because hang on, what can I draw next turn? I wanna be able to like draw cards next turn that can do things. And if I draw like cantrips and I have to cast this, my turn's just clogged. So I think we just gotta dismember this and then hope to find something on top. <clears throat> that counts. Let's get rid of this, this, because we're not going to be able to cast it. I guess at this point, I'm two turns away from casting Battle Rage. So Battle Rage isn't going to matter in two turns because attack, attack, and they're dead, so we might have the Visions. That was a good hit. That was a good hit. Probably just like damnations me and the game's like wicked over. Sad thing is I could have delved, could have just saved two life, but it doesn't really change the clock. Because they have a bolt, we're dead either way. Okay, so there's Nikki. So I'm gonna play this tapped. I'm gonna play this tapped because if I draw a Snapcaster Mage and I go Snap Serum Visions, I wanna be able to do something. And if my opponent has a bolt or a snapcaster mage of their own, like I can't beat that, so I might as well like because it's right for them to just attack, go snap bolt. Or snap K command. Okay, so they had a bolt. We dead. We dead. Moto's freaking out. What a quality program we have here. What an absolutely great thing we got. So I want this. Want my third Snapcaster Mage, my two Lilianas, my Stub, and my Stroke. Um, not interested in Fatal Push, not interested in Battle Rage. Kind of want my Lightning Bolts. Like, not really sure I want all my Street Wraiths. I could play Lava Man because it's just like a dude. I don't think explosives have enough. I'm gonna leave these bolts in here. Like I don't really want to play a super long game and like playing a super like having these street rates gonna make I guess wait, so if we play a long game, these street rates could become dead draws. And I could easily start to like bolt snap bolt my opponent out of the game here if we get like incremental damage. 
similar like how that game was. Hey, Archmage. Hey, Frodaddy. How you guys doing? Yeah, I was texting. I was like, hey, Megan. I was like, so uh, I'm going to Star City Games in the, or Philadelphia in uh, – on October 13th and 14th, then her eyes got big, and I knew. I'm like, nope, not doing that. Oh, this hand's not very good. This hand's, like, not very good, but if I draw something, it develops, but, I, like, I'm, I'm relying on my draws and the Logan. This hand's much better. I don't think we want... So, one, two, three... I don't think we want this. So we're going to not cycle this Street Wraith on one. Zero Road Dandy, what are you going to play? Romantic surprises. That is where we got engaged. So, like, you know, we might be able to pull it off. All right, so we got this thing covered. We don't have this covered. I'm going to try to kill my opponent before they get to this or make it so this doesn't do anything. So I think I'm just going to play the Pyromancer. I'm going to take the Pyromancer because they can go like Pyromancer plus Spell. They have to play Jace, and then it has to not do anything. So we're just going to take this Pyromancer. They're probably going to play Creeping Tarpin on one, play Jace on two. Nice. Thank you. That's awesome, Fro Daddy. It's good. It's solid. I changed it a little bit from the last one, the Hedge Against the Humans deck. So I think I think humans is humans is very good. Okay, strokes a great draw. So I'm just gonna go Thought Scour. Okay, looting's these for next turn. And then just play this. Like it's kind of loose to a lightning bolt. But if my opponent likely they're just gonna play Jace, and um, and like if they don't play Jace, or, and then me if they do something different, then me not using my mana sucks. Yeah, I'm gonna stream the challenge tomorrow. So here comes Jace. <laughs> Excuse me. Hopefully we draw a fetch land. That counts. So I'm not going to looting because I like this disdainful stroke. And like four is, four is okay. Hopefully we draw a shit card next turn so we can loot. Yeah, at least I've seen that I like three bolts. Don't worry. No, you don't have to do that. I learned from somebody. That's kind of a tilt. Because it makes my looting worse. Like we're going to take this disdainful stroke. Now there's a chance this Death Shadow doesn't live through this serum, but this Chandra. That sucks. My opponent's deck's weird. Tapped. Wow. Are you going to terminate this? No. Are you going to Fatal Push it? That would suck even more. That would suck even more. I don't think they're like a Grixis control deck. They played like Search Rise Kanta, uh, Tassiger. All right, that thing's big. Oh, we're going to lose. We might not lose. Probably going to lose. So, like, how bad do things get if this Chandra resolves? Like, I probably can't win if this Chandra resolves. So what I could do is I could just go put all this on top, put on top, looting into the card I want, 
Or I can just play Gurmag Angler and threaten to like kill the Chandra. So I could go like Bing Bing, stub the Chandra. I could just go like Bing Bing, play Gurmag Angler, which are basically my two only plays. So play this, they hit this, they crack here, they crack us. I think keeping the Death Shadow around is worth it because they can't really attack me. That, was, that discard spell was, was rough. No, they didn't. Uh, Trenchy Gearho, thanks for the follow. Oh, they did just miss... They just missed their land drop right there. Oh, man, what a huge, like... Okay, so what does that do? So pay four life, crack them... Hang on. I think I just pay two life because if I play two life, then I, if I play four life, I'm dead to a Snapcaster Mage and I can't interact with that. Here, I'm not dead to a Snapcaster Mage. Can you get an IH? Are you an industrial hygienist? Torrential Gear Hulk? My kind, my clan, my people. So my opponent has to know that the spell that I kept is great. It's Colagon's command, that makes sense. That's what they're doing here. Yeah, we're just going to stub this. Yeah, for sure. Industrial hygienist is what I do for uh, work, Brendozer. It's kind of like a lot of people that are industrial hygienists work as... Um, they work for, like, OSHA. Oh, man. Tilt. So I can hold this stub, or I can flashback looting. I'm just going to hold this dub. My opponent just goes land, fire up tar pit. That sucks. But what sucks is my opponent has four spells in their hand. That's bad, too. I think this means I'm dead. I think I'm drawing dead now. Likely just, just game over. So this is five. So the tar pit's lethal. Next turn. They have Kalidus. Ugh. Yeah, they got us. Jeez. We all kind of unroll. I mean, that that's also like part of part of like playing Thoughtseize decks. Like, so we had this game completely mapped out because of our Thoughtseize, and then as soon as our opponent top decked a card to poke a hole in our map, and it all just came falling down. And that's just like the cost of doing business when it comes to playing Thoughtseize decks. Oh yeah, yeah. I worked in hy um, hydroelectric plants before. Doing like confined space stuff, fall protection, lockout, tag out. Like I do, I'm a consultant, so I do a lot of audits for companies to make it so OSHA doesn't mess with them. You can either like protect companies from OSHA or be OSHA. And I don't really want to be OSHA.
Our record is 0 and 3 today. On US on vacation. Hey, thank you, uh, OMG Karuti. We've been getting stomped. It has not been good. We might have to turn into a beer stream. God, what another fantastic deck to play against. Any job for a Brazilian engineer? What kind of engineering? Alright, well at least we drew that. So against this deck, I just I don't really like playing around Blood Moon. Because if you play around Blood Moon, they'll still just cast their Blood Moon and then Stone Rain you. And just like doesn't doesn't work. Audits. I'm about to audit my opponent here with a thought seize. God, I made so many. And that's a good career. I'm not sure just because why do you kind of kick him in for the flames? I think that the uh, I think the humans deck is great. Yeah, there's a Grixis Death Shadow Discord. Some guy that runs like a big Facebook group plays it. Has it. Philly boy, are you hungry? Oh man, so I've been um we've been trying to work Philly out of his lunchtime. So like we feed him more at night, and then we feed him a lot at uh we feed him a lot at night. I want to learn I want to learn programming so I can work as a consultant. I think a lot of industrial. S C A D A. What is the acronym for that? My opponent's just like tank. Like they're really thinking about dealing with this mistress bob. This mistress bob will just get my opponent scared shitless. Nope, not going to Indianapolis. I got a I got a cute little dog to take care of. So we're gonna get a blood crypt. Not gonna cycle the street raids because if we hit a fetch land. That's what we're looking to do. Infernal Titan, sweet. There's just like a whole bunch of cards here I just cannot beat. I'm going to take this Pia. Hopefully my opponent just taps out and plays the tracker. And then I can push the tracker. Okay, so we can get nasty next turn. That's pretty sweet. They might just say like, I'm not going to because they're going to want to play the, their, yeah. That's a solid play from the opponent. All right, doesn't matter. So let's like make our opponent feel stupid and draw a discard spell. Probably should have fetched. Yeah, that's stupid. One, two, three, four. So this goes and gets watery grave. Now we get we get nasty. Is this called dog shadow? <laughs> The dog is it's Philly, it's Philly boy, but Shadow boy, he's black like a shadow, so like that might work. All right, you get to play your tire tracker, do your thing. So four mana. So we're gonna push this. We need to draw a discard spell for this stupid Inferno Titan. Why didn't they just get a tap land? This is odd. So we're going to fetch an island. All right. So put on the bottom, put on top, because that's going to get us another angler next turn. Then we can get nasty again. So funny story from the open. I, uh, like, thought sees my opponent. I always say, like, Nasty Gurmasty here, whenever, or we're gonna get nasty whenever we play Gurmag Angler. So I go to Thought Seize my, I should have tapped differently. I go to Thought Seize my opponent, and I know their hand. So, like, it's kind of like known information. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna Thought Seize you, and then we're getting nasty because I was gonna play Gurmag Angler. My opponent just looked at me, and they were like, what the fuck is that? And then that was just wildly entertaining for me. All right, that's what we're looking for. 
I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Alright, so now Uno, Dos, Tres, Quattro. It doesn't matter. So I'm probably going to bolt my opponent because then there's, like, unless they add something to the board, there's no block that they can make that, like, makes it so they survive that battle rage on top. Portuguese. Isn't that Spanish? I'm kidding. I don't know the difference. No, they're different countries. I was being sarcastic. I'm not that uncultured. I'm pretty uncultured, but I'm not that uncultured. <laughs> so my opponent's like, do I draw a card and die, or do I play a creature and die? Oh, so um, dois, tres, cuatro. That's Portuguese. Okay. Look at this. I'm learning. I shouldn't have even gone to school. Yeah, dude. And I'm a comedian. I made the same dad joke for like almost the entire round of our at our team event because I was the modern player, so I sat in the middle, and I was like. It's like, we got it easy, don't we? We're in the middle. We can't mess this up. My opponents just, like, laughed. Okay, so they play tap land. Tap land or Ruski. Okay, great. So we're going to bolt this Pia. Because that means they can't fling a Thopter. So they can go, like, bolt, bolt. They have one, two, they have four mana. So now they might as well, they might as well just like fling this Thopter. Three damage, puts me to six. Alright, sweet. I guess they could like double bolt. But if they if they had double bolt, they would have just, now nah, they were one short of that. So we could lose a double bolt. We laughed and laughed. Tom, I'm hilarious, and you know it. So I'm going to target this one here, so that if they have two bolts, we still get the Thopter out of, off the off the battlefield because it's still 10 either way top eight of the open yep with captain tommy b as my trusty standard player an all-around great looking dude i'm glad we didn't lose him to the casino it was right above it was dangerous he was like he kept sitting there and he was like itching you know he'd be like guys i gotta gamble i gotta gamble but we ended up making it out of there, and Tom didn't lose all of his all of his life savings. So all these explosives. This is kind of it. You know what? You scrubbed out, Dean. Dean, I, after after I finish um, this match, which games did you lose in the SCG? So I actually have it up right here. Actually got it here, so let me let me hang on. Never mind. So I want to cut Snapcasters awful. Um, I don't think I want all of my removal. Gurmag angler. I can cut one angler. That's kind of slow. Like against combo decks, you really just want that. You want Death Shadow. Like angler's a little slow. I could just cut like. The problem is one. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six ways to deal with turn one Arbor Elf. Is that enough to play three angles? They're going to have relics, too, so, like, fuck that. Uh, let me see here. I got my results here. Okay. So here's how I did. I, I was... Um, in game, I was ahead in game three against Martyr Croc, but our team won. Um, and then I like zoned out because our team won. I fetched the wrong land. So like I lost to a Field of Ruins. So, like theoretically I lost this game match here, but like 
had I fetched a black another a second red land, I would have just like wrecked my opponent because I had a Liliana last up going and I ended up dying to like shambling vents beats with a lightning bolt in my hand. Um, I beat blue, I red. My opponent molded a six and four, so like whatever. Tron, I was going into game three against Tron on the draw, so I, I think we didn't finish it because we lost that match. So I think I likely would have lost that. Tron on the draw is tough. Uh, burn beat Burn. Beat Tron. Um, didn't get to play game three against Fairies. was on the play. Beat Affinity. Beat Titan Shift. Lost to Rossum. Lost to a Tron deck that top aided. Um, I beat Humans. I beat Amulet. This was uh, Daryl Ayer's team. They ended up top aiding too. Against Maru Pyromancer, I won, lost, and then I was on the play for game two, but we didn't get to start. And then I lost to Burn, and I lost in the top eight to Tron. Team open, top eights don't count. Don't make me, like, ban you, dude. All right? I'm super proud of myself. All right? Not allowed to brag or feel good on my stream. That was so sad that they didn't put... I'm going to keep this, by the way. This thing's very good. That's. I'm so sad that they didn't put me on camera for that match. Because, like... Or Tom's match. Because, like, the standard matchup is in interesting. Like, they did, they put the black-red reanimator against Storm. And it was just Delray getting browned. On turn one for like on turn one and two for like two games in a row. I think Tron's tough to beat. Well, you're right. You're doing a good impression. Well, thanks, Fro Daddy. Dude, five O's are awful. I'm not even sure why you're proud of yourself, Dean. Like if I five O the league, I'd probably just quit magic. My mo my opponent mulligan to five. And they're going to get hit with two discard spells? Like, that sucks. Oh, we have a Death Shadow on top. How greedy would it be to just leave this Death Shadow on top? Cycle into it? Yeah, we're going to do it. So we're going to cycle into this. We're going to get a Blood Crypt. And then we're, like, going to super pray that our opponent gives us a, something to shoot this Dismember at. Three two life is where it's at. Oh man, we missed. My phone's probably laughing at me. Same amount of high quality games. Just way flatter payout. I like the I like the big payouts. I like the big I like the big payouts. I'm a fan. Alright. Alright, we could be in trouble. Cause this this Chandra is coming in hot. Oh my god, we're so good at this game. So let's ditch this. Let's ditch this lightning bolt. We're gonna keep the cards coming. Yo, this Inferno Titan's just like looking at me. Um, I probably want this land actually. Because I go like Fetch Shock 12. This puts makes my shadow three threes. So I actually probably want that and it makes it so I can flash my looting back. If you want to use all your money, you should play like blue white. That's all you should do there, Archmage. God, there are just not a lot of things that I like more than stubbing, like things without ferocious. You know, like just four spike him. Just get it. oh, we also knew what our opponent draw drew, which is great. I also had a sweet play where I theoretically could have let this resolve, played two shadows, and then dismembered the one that he doesn't target to grow the other one. Man, I am so good at this game. Damn, Phil. What's going on down there? Now I can dismember one of these, and if I draw away and deal damage to myself, I'm going to kill him. Why you got to come for... <laughs> Why you got to come for you, Dub, like that? Because I love you. I just love you, Archmage. It's all I do. One, two, three, four, five. So they draw a land, I'm, I'm wrecked. But if they don't draw a land, I'm in good shape. Probably should just dismember this. And like, and we have a Faithless Looting to look back. We just need to find a way to deal damage to ourselves. Even if we find a Shock Land, it shuts off this Fetch Land. 
Yeah, so now it's Shockland. Shockland, Street Wraith, Thoughtseize. Shockland, Street Wraith, Thoughtseize, Fetchland kills my opponent. All right, so they're at 16. We're not going to die. Oh, they can't even, like, draw the lightning bolt because they have to tap both of these. The, the, the thing is, like, Death Shadow, Street Wraith, Thoughtseize is better than, like, 95% of modern decks. Guys, we won. We won a match. We won a match. The nice thing is, is, like, there's just, like, so many people in modern that, like, Try to do these. Oh, I have a notification from from uh, for singing classes. Thank you there, Omari Karudi, OMG Karudi. Like I don't. So I appreciate the donation. Um, the reason I missed that is because I keep my um, I keep my notifications off because um, it messes my YouTube videos. Yeah. I'll be on in four hours, Archmage. Probably be like four beers in. But we're gonna we're gonna get fast and loose tonight. We're gonna play some Snapcaster Mage decks. It's gonna be sweet. Alright, we're gonna mulligan. We're just we're just hammering out our list right now. We're gonna get serious here in about three hours. Just take the classes. <laughs> You talking about today, Nameless? We don't want this. Today's not a good day. Well, you drew like shit in our matchup today. You just got ran over. Which, that's the Death Shadow Mirrors. The Death Shadow Mirrors are just like, not fun. In my opinion. Because like, so there's, there's only like, like, the cards that matter are, like, Thoughtseize, Snapcaster Mage, and Gurmag Angler. And then, like, depending on how your deck matters, it's also Death Shadow. And then, oh, this sucks. Uh, so we just take the Thoughtseize. We hope to find a way to deal with whatever else my opponent's mind. It was, like, a, like a really black-white Eldrazi, de Eldrazi deck. All right, off to see you. Good luck, Fro Daddy. God, I need to move to your country. Oh man, we're gonna be able to get nasty. Though Gurmag Angler and multiples is awkward. They're just not fun. They turn into like these huge, like off the top dick punching matches, and it's just like not good. Who want Jess Guy in blue white to be good? Take that arc. You want to arc mages F and M? Okay. All right. We're doing it. Impossible. <laughs> no, I'm going to mine. Wife's gone. Play magic. Will you even shower? Maybe not, Tom. I don't even shower in my wife's here. Let's be real. I'm just a disgusting ball of life. God, my opponent rips this freaking Eldrazi Temple next turn. It's going to feel so good. I need to be easier. I have blue white miracles in this deck, though. What should I play? I have more experience with blue white. You should play the one you have more experience with. This deck is much better than blue white. So I think you should learn how to play this deck. But you should not. You shouldn't go into an event cold like that. Modern's too diverse. Oh man, if we hit a fetch land here. Fuck. Fuck. We had a fetch land, didn't even do it. So I'm I'm just like not good at this. I'm gonna hold this land. None of them. No Death Shadow deck beats blue white. We can beat you can beat like you can you have a, like a good fighting chance against um Against Jeskai. You got a good chance against Jeskai. But you're not beating you're not beating Blue White. So we know what our opponent play. We knew they draw this, drew this. 
So they, this is kind of interesting because, like, so, like, Nasty is, like, dominating the battlefield. So if they take the second Nasty, they might be able to tangle with this one. But if I draw a fetch land, I just kill this. So it's a little interesting. Yeah, I would I would play like it loathes me to say like play blue white, but if you if you have a very focused metagame, then you can make it so your control deck is decent. If you don't have a very focused metagame, I should have played my island because now if I draw a shock land, I can't play Gurmag Angler. Um Just sequencing your cantrips right. Like, that's honestly the biggest thing to do. Like, make sure you just give yourself the opportunity to see the most cards. All right, that was a shit draw. Actually, that wasn't bad. So at least we're still, like, the biggest thing on the board here. And we're going to stub anything. Because as long as we get this stubborn denial off, that means we can get nasty next turn. I definitely do not think that Blue-White Miracles is an advantage against most of the field. I think you're going to beat the fair decks. I think it's pretty awful against the unfair decks. All right, yeah, we're just going to, like, get this out of here. And we're doing this purely because it makes so we can play Gurmag Angler. Like, this doesn't really do anything. Like, if we get path here, it's going to feel bad. I'm going to hold this Watery Grave because, like, so you aren't attacking, you aren't blocking. Like, what the fuck, dude? That's, like, one of the cardinal sins of magic. If you're not attack, if you're not blocking with your creature and you're not attacking with your creature, like, something's gone. Something's, something's wicked muffed up. Oh, yeah, okay, so time we, yeah, you're going to stomp burn decks. So we need something pretty special here. Yeah, skull cracks a beating. All right, Ooh, I think we saw that coming again. Like they're not. Like I could be at six, and that leaves like, like a uh, some more like live draws there. So they have fatal push and one other card. This right here. This is how it's meant to be, baby. This is how we're doing it. All right, that's annoying. At least they can't block this thing. Because you've got a swamp. Oh, good night, Irene. They're just dead. Their last card's Fatal Push. <clears throat> they got the old Relic of Progenitus Lingering Souls combo deck here. Like we got we got a combo deck. That's called synergy. Right there. So against so against this deck, we want our EEs. Probably want K Command, want Last Hope. Um, I'm going to assume Gurmag Angler is not great. Side out like one of these street rates. I'm going to assume Team or Battle Rage isn't where we want to be. Though I hate, like, Battle Rage is both the best way to win and the best way to lose this matchup. So these Lightning Bolts got to go, though. So we're at least going these five for these five. It all depends on how much graveyard hate we think we're going to play against. Because, like, I don't hate this Snapcaster Mage, or this this Radiant Flames is probably fine. Like, Radiant Flames is sweet against, like, half of their draws, pretty awful against the other half. I've got, like, not a lot. I've played, I've started playing it today. I, I've gone 4 1, 4 1, 0 2, and I'm currently 1 and 1. I guess I don't think we want counter spells against the discard deck. So we're going to get smacked around a little bit by a rest in peace. But like that's kind of the cost of doing business here. Oh, the Grinch of Death Shadow? I don't know. I 
I don't know. I don't have more set up on my computer yet. I tried to set up more, but I got confused. In the whole history, I don't know. I probably got like thousands of games with Death Shadow decks. I played more decks. I played more with Jun Shadow than I have Grixis Shadow. I bet I've got like a fat. I've got about. I got a. I bet I've got about that with all the Shadow decks, but not Grixis. Okay, so this hand's not very good, but I really don't... I hate mulliganing this matchup. And, like, this is a pretty solid card. This card's great. I'm going to keep this hand, but, like, I would understand if somebody wanted to mulligan. The old ones were, yeah. Those decks are, in my opinion, they're pretty inferior. So let's cycle. Okay, so we could cast that right now, and I think we're going to. I should have played this land, but because like Steam Vents always fucks me up. So we can actually ditch this Snapcaster Mage because we can bring it back with Colgon's Command. And we can ditch probably this Watery Grave. I think the old blue-white decks are much better than the Miracles ones. Like, like the reason you play the blue-white over Jeskai is because you can spreading seize Tron lands, right? I think Jun Shadow is, like, probably just a worse version of Grixis Shadow. It is still, like, a very good deck. See, this Watery Graves, are, this Steam Vents already fucking me up. That's just because of how good... Um, that's just because of how good... Death Shadow is as a card. Yeah, I should have been. In, I should. This was stupid. If I lose this game, it's because I fetched the events on turn one. I would agree with that. Yeah, I. I would not. I would not agree. I just think like I think Tron's just that good. So my opponent thought not sees me. I wonder what they take. They probably take Liliana. I'm just a very much a hater of all the fair decks because I believe all the linear decks are very, very good. And the fair decks, unless you can kill them, they're going to do what they want. Like, Tron is going to Tron you. KCI is going to KCI you. Well, he's also a pro, I will, 5-2. Five, five, he probably could win with any deck that he picks up. So we're not going to play around a Reality Smasher from our opponent. We're just going to Inquisition them, play another Shadow. Because we're going to be able to brick wall Reality Smasher here before long. Okay, so we might as well just... Well, which of these cards... So this Eldrazi Displacer is really annoying if it resolves. I don't really have a good way to deal with it. I guess I can go Liliana plus Colagon's Command, but that's pretty slow. Yeah, so I'm actually just going to take this Tide Hall's Color. Because I can deal with that. I don't want them to take either of my cards. Like, if I get to cast all my cards, I'm going to win this game. I just want to keep my keep my hand intact. Because like we're gonna flash, we're gonna get the Snapcaster Mage back, we're gonna Liliana things. Yeah, and I mean that's just, you know. My bias is like I just I, I just disagree. I disagree with like just the control decks in general there, Circle Turk. I do get why people like them, but I just don't think that they are super great. So we have Displacer. So I kind of just want to get this Liliana in play. Because if this, like the longer this Liliana is in play, the better it is. Though it is 
pretty um it's vulnerable like if they draw a push they can kill it so let's actually just thought scour So what am I returning? I think I'm just going to go Colagon's command, return my death shadow, shock this. And then... Well, that leaves me a little... But I can just roll back Snapcaster Mage. I probably should just get my Snapcaster Mage back because... If they do land an Eldrazi Displacer and clear my graveyard, it's going to be hard for me to win. So yeah, I'm just going to be like an adult. And then next turn, I can just roll my Liliana back and get the uh, get the Death Shadow, play the Death Shadow. Okay, so they could also start, like, wrecking my lands here. Yeah, I, I just philosophically don't believe in those decks. Like, I understand what they do, and I understand why they are good. I wonder how long it's going to take until they ghost quarter themselves. Probably not long. So they have two cards. They have Displacer and then X. So let us... Return target cards. Let's return this. Shock this. Oh, that, that's completely the opposite of what I wanted to do there. I wanted to get my I wanted to get my Snapcaster Mage back. Ooh, that's a good one. That actually lets me just freely attack here, and then I can play Liliana. Probably tick it up, play a Death Shadow. Look at that top eight. Look at that guy. Kevin Honey Bear Wang in the house. Mr. Wang Zan. Oh, God. Are you going to go for it? No. What a coward. I think it's probably right for him to do that. So let's just I think I'm just going to get my Snapcaster Mage back just to have it back here. Cuz even if now we're at the point where even if they do deal with my um I guess also they could just go ghost quarter, ghost quarter, and now I don't I can't battle rage them. Mm. I did cut a red source. Yeah, I would agree with that, Circle Turk. Dude, they're computer glasses. I'm protecting my pearly whites. Or my, my nice blue eyes. My wife likes my eyes. I've got to keep those things intact. Dude, we're only 25 followers away from a from a thousand. At a thousand followers, I gotta do something sweet. I gotta like open up a bunch of my treasure chests. I sold a bunch of them, but I think I've got like 16 or 18 still left. So ghost quarter yourself. I'm fairly sure, and I'm just going to kill my opponent next turn. Like, I'm going to go snap dismember on something, then battle rage. I got 16 treasure chests sitting there. Oh, DJ Jedi Jeff with the Twitch Prime. Dude, what a fucking guy. Just check out these, this sweet emote here, the best emote in the business of the cutest dog on Twitch. We'll open up a treasure chest from my main man here. I have 30 of these bad boys. It's going good there. Thank you, Imbunit. Uh, your treasure chest was awful. 
Jedi Jeff is the Force. Are you a Star Wars fan? You gotta be a Star Wars fan. <clears throat> My phone's just tanking. There you go, Tom. Coming in. Your SW Star Wars CCG account years and years ago. Nice, dude. Well, may the force be with you. I love Star Wars. I follow this depressed Darth on Twitter. He posts so many funny Star Wars things. God, this is annoying. This is also just like... <sighs> What's the game plan here, bud? Like, as long as my graveyard stays intact, you can't win. Because, like, eventually I'm just going to, like, Snapcast or K-Command you out of the game. While just, like, I'm just going to beat you in every way. All right, sweet. All right, step one. That almost killed me. Oh, they were they were a joy to play against. I I enjoyed playing against that team. Edgar was pretty nice. Yeah, Daryl's not. Daryl's Daryl's very nice. I was nervous playing against Daryl. So what are we gonna do here? They've got Eldrazi Displacer. So do I, I've got a Water Grave. So I should just like. What should I do? I probably should just attack because I can just snap this. Because if they have a removal spell for this, I just go like, like I go for the Battle Rage, which is four mana. Then I can still snap K Command. Like, and then block. So we're still fine. And they have an Eldrazi Displacer versus Kolagon's Command plus a Death Shadow next turn. We could lose. We could lose here. We played them in the Swiss. Hopefully we didn't, like, mess this up. And mill over land. Yeah, we totally did. We got talking. All right, well... We mistakes have been made. Um, probably should just pay two life. Eight minus two is fourteen. Yeah. All right. Opponent's got the F six train on. There we go. Yeah, I liked playing against Daryl. I got kind of nervous playing against him because I knew he was very, very good. And it's kind of hard sometimes because he's playing Amulet, so his hands keep his lands keep bouncing into his hand. It's it's tough to like track everything that's going on. And I at one point thought seized him when I actually knew all the cards in his hand, they were all lands. Because they've been bouncing. I knew off Bobble. And like he was like, dude, you know all the cards in my hand. And I was like, I was like, oh, yeah. And I don't think he was trying to be mean or anything. He was just, like, saying it. Like, that was a nice team to play against. The Legacy players seemed kind of quiet, but um, Edgar was, like, he and Daryl were laughing a lot. I think the guy's name was, the Legacy player's name was Dilks, Matt Dilks. That's just, I, I watched, I listened to the First Strike podcast, so, which is a great podcast. I, I would definitely check that out if you guys like podcasts. Oh, my wife made it to New York City, made it through the subway system. It takes me a while to play a full match. I don't play very fast. I was routinely, like, I was routinely the slowest person playing. Um, probably takes me, like, half an hour, 45 minutes to play it. Like, a very small, not a lot of turns match. Like I never, I never like really prod my opponents. Um, 
He's like, that lets you know he's quiet. Yeah. He seemed like a nice guy. No, I didn't finish all of my games. Um, I had four matches where I didn't finish. Three matches. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. I didn't finish round one. I didn't finish round three. I didn't finish round six. And I did not finish round 13. I would like to play first. And I would like to keep this hand. This is a pretty, this is a pretty, this turn two nasty. So that's pretty good. We do the bobble trick also. Look for the interactions. Yeah, I just play slowly, nameless. Like, I think there's just, like, so much going on. Like, this deck's very difficult to play, and there's so much going on that when it really matters, I just take my time. Just slow down. Like, it might take me, like, 15 minutes to finish the sixth turn match. So like 12 turn 12 total turns 15 minutes. Like that's 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 kind of the rate I guess. Yeah, exactly. And also that's like the cost of playing that like the reason why Death Shadow isn't played as much as it is is cuz it's hard to play. And like you're going to lose games on such narrow margins. Oh, we're playing against Gabby Sparks. Nice. Um you're going to lose games on such narrow margins that I'm actually going to bobble. So what are we looking for here? We're looking for a second land. We're looking for probably second land over anything, but we have four draws at it. I'm going to get some information. Let's see what, Bob, what Gabby's playing. Okay, so she's playing Spirit. So we want to find lands and removal spells. <laughs> I always will, Tom. So that's a removal spell. So how many, we're going to get one, two, three, so one, two, three, four, so one, two, three, four, our next turn is five, so we have five looks at another land, so I'm just going to hold this, draw that, hold my street race, and then like, hopefully I find another land so that I don't have to Thought Scour. There's a bolt. There's a land. Okay, so now we can bolt a bird or something like that. So I'm just gonna kill this. Like, um, like we, our hand is going to be like this is going to trade with a removal spell eventually, and I might as well do it on my terms. Okay, fetch. So I'm gonna cycle my um I'm gonna cycle this before I thought scour. Because this is just Gurmag Angler plus interaction. Now I kinda wanna thought scour because I would like to leave this lightning bolt in my graveyard for a snapcaster mage. Okay. So we don't want these bobbles, we don't want these lands, we don't want the street race. Stubbs decent, battle rage is probably worse than either one of these. No, Thought Scour is not good because I'm going to fill up with looting. So I just hope they don't find a path. Well, I figured it out as well. Oh, did she just F6 through her turn? I do not know. So let's start here. Oh, she just has one land. Okay. So what card is most annoying? Probably Rattle Chains. Because it lets them play at instant speed. So let's... Looking for more discard or just... Enough. Okay, so that's good as well. So let's ditch this. Probably this. 
Because these, these both just can trip. This does it for free, and I can get a scry off of it. So I'm going to do this on my main phase, because if that's like a lightning bolt or something, then I, I'm, I want to draw it on their turn. It's not like they're going to discard spell me. It's a Thought Seize. Thought Seize is okay. Is it? This card's so clunky. This is why I went down to two of these, because it's just very clunky. Like, it's my whole turn. I guess I actually just don't want this Thought Seize. I kind of just want another land so that I can Battle Rage. Alright, we hit a discard spell. Okay, Flooded Strand, and then what are they going to do? Are you going to Supreme Phantom, or are you going to play Selfless Spirit? Yeah, we know who it is. You can talk about it. Supreme Phantom, okay. Alright, well that makes things easy. So let's start off by cracking her. Discard spell, probably. Honestly, I'm probably just going to take one of Gabby's. I kind of always want to take this Selfless Spirit because... If I take this Selfless Spirit and I draw a fetch land and she tries to interact with me in combat, well, as of right now, she has to lose a creature. So I'm just going to take this Selfless Spirit just to make it more difficult for her to interact with me in combat. She draws a land and King Drog's called Captain. That's kind of annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah, playing, watching two people play Magic at the same time is kind of funny. And Gabby had a pretty poor draw. Like, you know, like, yeah, I wrecked her. But, like, that's because her draw wasn't very good. Like, she had a one lander, missed second land drop. Okay, so I think we board the same way we do against humans. Um, except we probably leave in some Gurmag Anglers because they don't get Reflector Maged. You're probably still cut like one because you don't you don't want to like fight like Lava Mancer is likely going to be better than Gurmag Angler. I want these Radiant Flames as well. So I don't think I want all of my stubs though. Hitting like a collect if you ever get to trade that kind of mana, that's always feels so good. Thanks, Imbuement. Um, I like discard spells, poking removal. Oftentimes I like to board out Street Wraith in a lot of these matchups where they're kind of beating me down. And I guess I could still cut one Angler. And then I probably can cut a Faithless Looting. Because, like, Faithless Looting gets worse when your deck is honed. When your deck's, like, very focused, Faithless Looting's not great. They're gamer glasses, yep. So my wife works for the Vision Council, which is like the biggest eyewear trade association in the country. So she gets all kinds of glasses. Like I've got like a million sunglasses over there that either they couldn't sell for some reason or, you know, they just gave them to her. Like these are Gunner glasses. Like Gunner's a real good, a really good um, brand. There, they got like the yellow tint. I need to clean them. My wife's got cleaning stuff in here. Yeah. Yeah, you can buy. You can just go Google Gunner. Like they have a Twitter page. Like Gunner's Gunner Sweet. They sponsor streamers, so they do do a lot of that kind of stuff. I wish they'd sponsor me. That would be sweet. Oh, the old Kira was too good for the sideboard, Tom. It was just too good. It wasn't fair. When I played Kira against my opponents, they just couldn't hang. 
So I had to cut it. I had to cut it, or if I showcased the card too much, they'd ban it. And then all the Merfolk players would cry that their unplayable deck is worse. I have to feed my dog after this match. Don't let me forget. He's probably pissed. He's like, I haven't eaten since 6 a.m. Why do you do this to me? All right, so this hand is a no-go, I think. Like, if we miss our second land drop, we're just screwed. How many good draws do we have? We can draw... We've got seven cantrips, which will be good. We have ten cantrips with two removal spells we can play on one and two death shadows. I actually think this hand's fine. And plus, they play path, so if I do get to get a death shadow down, they might be able to path me for mana. I mean, that's a, if we're not going to draw lands, that's pretty good. So I'm going to take this, because if I take this, I go to 19, Fetch Shock, Dismember, puts me to 12, and I can play Death Shadow. Thalia. Thalia is not bad against my hand. So let's get Blood Crypt. I don't think so. I think I would find something for the Kira. I don't know if I want to play this list or not. Um, I don't know if I want to play this list or not, but I would at least run back my same 75 minus the Kira. The Kira was just like stone average. Like it didn't really do that much. Like it was okay. Nothing to write home to mom about. Ooh, we got no plays from Gale. Oh, that's because she's got a spell caller. I think we're just going to end up running Gabby over here, which kind of sucks for her. Here we're just going to get a Steam Vents. Okay, so the trigger on. So hang on here. Can we just like get her? So we just let this happen. And then at the end of her turn, we just try to kill this uh, rattle chains. Then they like flash in spell queller and get it. And then we like untap in battle rage. So we're going we're gonna to give her the little bait and switch here. See what Gabby thinks about it. Okay, Drog Skull Captain. Captain's good. So she's got a path. We know that. We still kill her through all, even if she has a path, we kill her through her blockers. Especially if we take the damage from this. Okay, she's not going to block. That doesn't make any sense. Is there even any point to killing the Drog Skull Captain or just double spelling? Because, like, they put three in front of this, 12 minus three is nine. I guess I might as well just kill this Drog Skull Captain because, I don't know. Well. Oh, I just let her cast Path. That was a mistake. Yeah, Magic Hero, you're right. I just messed up. 
It doesn't really matter. Because now she taps out, I bolt myself, and then I death shadow. So, like, I, I did, I totally fucked that up. I didn't even need to do this. This is bad. I'm just BMing her, which is not good to do. Yeah, this was rude. I just wasn't even thinking. Yeah. That was rude of me. I shouldn't have done that. I was just, like, zoned out. I was, like, zoned out. And, like, most of my whole plan was, like, if this gets bad, I'm going to bolt myself and then battle rage. Yeah. That was that was that was mean of me. I shouldn't have done that. I just like zoned out and then like did that. That was mean. Yeah, I was mean. Especially Gabby's nice. She didn't even do anything like she doesn't do anything mean. So yeah, I messed that up. Very poor of me. Very poor of me. She doesn't care, okay. Yeah, that Stitcher Supplier deck seems pretty sweet. Uh, keep. Say hi to Jeremy and Tiwu on the ban list. I will. Yeah, with Benjamin and Bridge. If that deck's consistent, it is very hard to beat. It just seems like if that deck... Oh, this is going to be tough. If that deck doesn't, that's so. Uh, let's just go get Blood Crypt. This is the kind of hand we can get wrecked with when we play against this deck because we're just like not. Um, I should have gotten a no, because like this Flame Blade deck could do like four million damage to us. So they're gonna be able to ditch one. So they're gonna be able to Tassigar me next turn. I don't think I want them to Burning Inquiry because my hand's pretty reasonable. Because I'm going to be able to play Death Shadow next turn. They're going to Faithless Looting, ditch two cards. They actually can't play Tasker unless they hit a Fetch Land, which is worth noting. So you ditch Blood Crypt. So Fetch Land, nope, they still can't do it, right? One, two, three. They could have done it if they would have. Okay, there's a Hollow one. Oh god, I was miscounting. Gurmag, this is only six. That's not a bad start. So now I pass. My opponent gets too cute with their attacks. I get to eat one of their creatures. But this is going to be tough. Hollow one's a good deck. For sure. I could just stub a lightning bolt. So my whole plan here is to just eat this hollow one when they attack. I'm hoping that's what happens. Hopefully they just turn him sideways, we need to cycle Street Wraith, eat this hollow one, and then draw a Death Shadow like a professional. I believe so. If it isn't, then I forgot to do it on Stream Decker. I, I upload it on Stream Decker, sometimes I forget to make it the current one. It is not. Now it is. Terminus, you are right there, sir. So, let's go. I go block here, take four, eight, four, six, seven, go to four, eat this. I cannot cast Gurmag Angler next turn unless they give me something to stub. So, I think I need to get this hollow one off the battlefield, though. All right, that's actually that's a sick draw because that lets me kill 
this flame blade adapt or kill this thing. I can go bolt. Okay, so if my opponent my opponent doesn't draw a way to grow this flame blade adapt on guy. And they have to they need like street wraith. Like street wraith exactly lets them win because I can stub whatever they do to grow this thing. And then block bolt. And then I can play Gurmag Angler. Also. I have, yeah. I have. I like playing it. So there that comes. So a removal spell would be great. That's not great. What do you need for the legacy deck? I need like the legacy stuff. Basically, like the dual. I, I can get it off in card holder. I might stream it later here. Let me see what my top card is here. Because my top card's a removal spell I can attack. It's not a, it's not a removal spell. We die to a lot of things. Like any way to make this flame blade adapt bigger kills me. Like that. No. No. All right, they went for it. God, if we had a snapcaster mage there, just go like snap, bolt, eat this. That'd be sweet. I need to think about what. I don't think I was there, Ormond. I gotta figure out what format I wanna do next. So let me go like. Is that how that works? So against this deck, I want my braids. K command. Um, on the play, I like all of my stubs. I don't like this. Don't like Snapcaster Mage. Actually, I actually like to cut my fatal pushes. So I like this. Uh, I have to figure out the poll. Hang on. MTG. MTG bot commands. I have to do exclamation point poll, right? I don't want to play Death Shadow. I've got my list set for tomorrow. I'm going to play Death Shadow tomorrow. So hang on. Let me set the poll up here. Oh, MTG bot is like tweaking out, I guess. No, MTG bot's good. Oh, no comma here. Okay. A valid number of seconds. I have 300 seconds. Oh, let me hit the submit button here before I lose my thing. One of these days I'll figure out how to do this. Requires a valid. Are you killing me here? What's going on here? Start a poll. I will count the first answer from each person, and answers are not case sensitive. So poll seconds. Oh, here's what we'll do. 
Here's what we'll do. No, it was tweaking out. So I start a straw poll. Straw poll is better, anyways. So straw poll. Modern standard legacy. There we go. So I'll vote on that, then we'll make a deck. Then we'll figure out what we're going to do. And then I'll pick a deck. So I actually like these kind of hands against Hollow One because they are very reliant on the discards. Like, discard is so good against Hollow One. We discarded a spell on one last game and still lost. So. You know, I might eat my words. Especially my opponent mulligans. So let's check out our top card. Inquisition. We don't want another Inquisition. So I'm going to hold this Street Wraith because next turn it's worth more to help dig off of this Serum Visions. Just like a small sequencing thing. They put a card on the bottom, which is worth noting. Okay, so this hand's very redundant. So I'm, I'm actually going to take a Collective Brutality. Because these Faithless Lootings are just going to dead-end my opponent really fast. So the Brutality at least does something. Like, this is why Discard is actually pretty good against these Hollow One decks. Because, like, Faithless Looting puts them down a card. Um, you know, they're going to they're gonna end up just running out of real estate eventually. So I'm going to take the card that does something. It is nice that they can just discard their Blood Ghasts. But, like... For example, we're going to go like discard spell plus stub next turn. Or we're, prob we're probably not going to do that. We're probably just going to go Serum Vision. So they ditch the Faithless Looting. So we don't know any of their cards. So let's... Dismember is a pretty good draw. So let's start off with Serum Visions. All right, we don't want either of these. Oh, man. I just don't anything. I can't believe they kept the faithless. They didn't ditch keep on their faithless lootings. That seems very odd to me. I would have kept a looting, just ditched the land. Unless they're that worried about um unless they're just like that worried about uh whatever it is. Um running out of land drops for this blood gas. So let's start here so I know what my top card is. Because I don't want to just be like looting away a random draw. I'd like to just know it. So this Blood Crypt. Look at that. We've got 27 people watching and 6 have voted. We are Americans. All right, there's our boy. Okay, so we're going to get rid of this, this, Fetch Shock, Play Shadow, be able to protect it. We're going to get Blood Crypt. It would have been interesting to think of if it would have been better for me to, if I had not hit a land there, it would have been a good thought to think, do I play this Shadow? Because it's my only threat. So, might as well just get another red source. So, I have my opponent on a two-turn clock here. I'm likely going to stub a Faithless Looting. What's nice about this, all, I guess it's not quite, because like I've got to pay full retail on this dismember. <laughs> Freaks vote. That's all right. I'm going to make another one. So if Modern wins, I'm going to make another one to talk about to do the decks. All right, absolutely not. So I don't actually have a good way here to make this a two-turn clock. 
Oh, that's not bad. Six, pay four life. I can't actually make this an effective two-turn clock and play around like Phoenix. So I think we're just going to try to kill our opponent in three and just slow down. Because like, even if I pay, if I pay four life on Dismember to make this a nine. It's two turns. But then I'm dead to like Phoenix because even if I pay two life to kill a Phoenix, it puts me to two. This blood gas kills me. Even like if I pay two life and kill a Phoenix, kill this thing, it's not a two-turn clock. Only if he plays that shadow on nice. If I play Legacy, I will play Death Shadow. Because I might play Death Shadow in the um, Legacy Challenge on Monday. Or on Sunday, I mean, excuse me. And we are going to be able to two turn clock this because we'll just. Like, he's going to attack me. Like, I probably won't even have to do anything to two turn clock it. My opponent is pretty much just spinning their wheels at this point. In modern, I can play anything, so I'm going to think about like making another list of what I want to play. So we know no cards left in our opponent's hand. You've got it, sir. I don't like playing that land before you faithless looting, especially considering it like potentially gets you out of makes one less uh, whatever it is trigger. One less blood gas return trigger. Kind of a neat play here. Okay, so you ditch a hollow one, which seems odd. So my opponent taps out here, we can kill him because we just like dismember and then dismember, paying two life, paying four life, playing two life. So we dismember this, paying two life. Which makes these, this thing a seven. Dismember this, paying four life, which makes it eleven. And they're tapped out, so they're dead. My opponent's likely very confused. Like, why didn't he dismember the Gurma Angler? My opponent was also just dead if I take the two damage and dismember the Gurma Angler, but like, you know. This is cooler. Johnny Redeem, do you need a new mic? Sound quality is pretty low. Yeah, I got I got this mic here, but it is it is what it is. Okay, uh, we're gonna keep the same. Hopefully, we get the four one there. Four one would be great. We're up to nine hundred and seventy six. If we get to a thousand, I'm gonna open up all my treasure chests tonight. Weird mic sounds on point. Maybe it's Johnny's issue. All right, I'm going to keep this hand. I should have sideboarded out a stub and brought in another removal spell. That was a mistake. I just was, like, zoning out. I'm going to keep this hand. This hand's pretty aggressive. They have a ley line, which is beats. All right, Inquisition, not bad. Probably just going to cast that. We need a shadow. Because <coughs> Gurmag Angler ain't going to do it anymore. Land. We don't want that. So let's just go get Watery Grave and Inquisition. There's no need to cycle my street rates yet. Because my play is virtually made up here. I'm going to take a discard enabler anyways. Unless their hand just like absolute garbage, which it might be. They might just be bolting me. Yep, they're just going, sending a message. Oh, well, that's a tilt. All right, we need we need some help. Adept's pretty good. All right, 
let's see if we can find something. Let's go dig in. Okay, so there's our boy. So now we just fetch shot, get our black source, get our red source, I mean, excuse me. And then we're going to be pretty, we're basically going to point these stubs at anything. Because they're just not doing anything. Yeah, we're going to point our stub at that. And we're just going to attack. We're going to put the pressure on. I mean, if they attack me, then, like, that's, that's you know, you do you, bugaboo. Let's just put them to four. My cycle, it's six. They go to 11. Four is 13. It's not dead lethal yet. I guess I should have done this main phase, but I'm going to cycle this. Okay. So crack you for six. Play our boy. And then pass. And that does it. We just dis we hit this flame blade adept. All right, we got the four one, ladies and gentlemen. All right, go team. Look at all those. All right, let's stop the video here.